the first day of Tanya Hoding Morozik's American Sign Language class, students learn to communicate in silence. <laughs> they quickly pick up signs uh, when voices are turned off and they are only using American Sign Language. I see from day one when they come into class, they're absolutely, what, no voice in class from the first day? They're so shocked and scared and, and the growth that happens in that two years is amazing to see. You communicate with hands, body, and face. So if you're gonna say, oh, I'm tired, you can't just sign tired. Yeah, that means tired, but it's like, oh, I'm tired. But if I'm really tired, I show it in your face and that gives it the meaning. American Sign Language is the natural language that has evolved over 200 years in the deaf community. Being part of the culture is, helps you learn the language. ASL is not a language you can just learn from a book. Uh, you really have to be in there doing it. As an American Sign Language or ASL instructor, Tanya constructs her teaching around what she calls the LACE framework. So it's linguistic and cultural equity through full immersion. Emily Smith is a deaf mentor for the ASL class. We work as a team, the two of us, and not many hearing and deaf people have that opportunity that can make that teamwork work so well. Tanya's goal is to immerse her students in real experiences that inspire them to leave her classes as an ally of people who are deaf. Former ASL student Hannah Veith is planning to apply her ASL skills when she becomes a law enforcement officer in the future. Being the first person on scene, having that ability to communicate with someone who's deaf. You think he's having a heart attack? Okay, where is he? It could potentially save someone's life. Tanya's students also have the opportunity to participate in a Gallaudet University cultural immersion trip. They spent a full week studying, communicating, and living with deaf students in Washington, D.C. Spent a lot of time on the campus getting that real-life exposure to deaf culture. It is the cultural center of the deaf world. Tanya also has extensive experience as a voice and performance interpreter. Her work has transformed the Brainerd Lakes area as a community that engages and values people who are deaf. I mean, she always has been an advocate for the deaf community. I love Tanya. Um, she's an amazing teacher. She's definitely one that doesn't just teach with what she knows, she teaches with her heart. 